Previously on Tales of Arise, Dohalim defeated Legil in a duel and somehow formed a freeway rivalry with her and Kisara. While exploring Sislodia, the party fought not one, but three gigant Zugols. Eventually, the party made their way to Olzebek, but the town was struggling with resources and the citizens placed way too many expectations on the Crimson Crows and Alfin. I have not been in Iglia Waste for quite a while. The Iglia Waste haven't changed. Still nothing but Zoogles living here. Not to be rude, but it's not exactly the sort of place I'd want to live anyway. A chest? Elixir. Harmonic armor. Huh? Is that what we're looking for? Stray Puma Stone. And what? That's such a weird place to get a quest item, but I'll take it. Almadine Mass. I have not seen those in a while. I'm, a I'm actually falling wheat. Huh. Mushrooms. Okay. Life Bottle. Okay, some... A few ores, but not much. Dang it. I heard Calaglia's climate became milder after the worlds merged, but this is... It has only become milder in comparison to before. If it were to change too fast, neither the people nor plant life would be able to keep up. That's not quite what I meant. I hope one day the people in this realm have enough water to go swimming whenever they want. Orange gel. Potatoes. Out of our way! Take this! Astral energy! Say no more! That's one. Is that the Zugo we're looking for? Oh my god, I hate golems. I never I'm ready! Double demon fight. Not much longer to go! Come on, one final push! Let's do this together, Alvin! Azure's pissed off! Blind freak! Why can't they just sit still? This ends now! Consider yourself finished! There went down. Oh boy. Rising wyvern! Eagle wing! Strike! Thunderous devastation! Anything in armor is all mine! I can carve the armor! We can't see you! Negative gate! Orochi's fury! Rising wyvern! Rising wyvern! And that takes care of the Zoogles. Wait, what's this? There's more than just clothing here. The leftovers of some kind of meal. What's it doing in a place like this? For now, let's report back to Ulzebek. Fast trouble added, nice. Is that the Blazing Sword? Stay away. This place belongs to Raynans. We built the f these facilities in the first place. You have no right to complain. Hold oh, on, there's something I need to get here. Carp. 4,000. Sturdy reed. Carp. Okay. Don't come any closer. The starship belongs to us, Raynans. This is a relic of a civilization. You people can't just do whatever you want with it. More Moscow is a ramshackle place for slaves, and Fagin has been run down and dirty for ages. Agree, why do we have to land a ruinous wasteland like this? When Lagos was destroyed, the people managed to escape, but many things we couldn't load onto the ships were lost. Mysterious fragment. Okay, potatoes. It's a lot of bees. Barbed crystal. Okay. 
Okay, that's a gigant. All right, good news is this boss does not have any strengths or weaknesses, so I don't have to change my arts too much. But it's also very fast. And it has quite a few allies. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. The allies are not very tanky, though. Ow. So I have to hit the stinger out. That's right, it also has projectiles. That's what? Core broken already? That was fast. Yes, this boss does not seem to be quite as durable despite being a fairly high level compared to everyone else at this point in the game. I thought it's mainly ramming attacks. Maybe I should try giving Kisara a try. See if I could knock it out of its animation. Unfortunately, Shion's boosts will no longer work on it because its wings are already considered broken. It's slightly less mobile compared to before, but now I can't just knock it down as easily. Yeah, if I want to knock it down, it has to be with Alphans. The most versatile boost attack. Do I even have explosive ring? I'm not sure, but it would be a very bad idea to try it, even though it is stronger than the others. What? Boost broken already? Yeah, that, the, the, uh, the extra part on the boss is very fragile compared to a lot of the other ones. Usually I would never be able to get that far. Oh, that was a convenient dodge. And now it's got a bunch of bee bombs. And over limit. That means even more bees. I sense incredible power. Uh, no chance of knocking that one out. Oh man, they're everywhere. Of course they cannot chase you in the air if you jump up really high and then attack. Oh, core broken. Nice, nice. Despite high level, it is more fragile than the other gigants I've fought so far. Even if it does have some annoying moves. So I still had room to grow. Rich on a meal. This thing. Wheat. Pineapple. Construct. Dohalim. It still amazes me every time he does that. Yeah. The way they grow before your eyes really is astounding. Hey, Dohalim. What would happen if you tried to cast that on a person instead of a plant? I don't know. I've never made the attempt. Are you seriously going to ask him to cast that on you just so you can be a little taller? Are you crazy? <laughs> How'd you know that's what I was thinking? You are a young man of straightforward goals, Law. It was an easy guess. Red Verbena. Open Sesame. Wedding Dress. Okay, that everyone has their next tier of armor. Fine grain clay. Everything we need is here. Hopefully this will help the reconstruction start again. Hmm. 
You're lost in your thoughts again. It was probably the blazing sword they needed. Not me. People who know you, see you. <sighs> we all have a hard time with the discrepancy between our true self and the impression others have of us. But I doubt such knowledge will help you feel any better right now. Uh, hey, why don't we go back to Ulzebek? There's no point in staying here anyway. Right, let's go. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I need to grab here, is there? We might not be as bad as Alfin, but I feel like we're taking on too many requests. We're helping people with their problems. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess. Back, are ya? How did it go? Not bad. It should be all taken care of. Oh, wow, that's great! I knew I could count on the Blazing Sword! Thank you, I really appreciate it! Hmm. The Blazing Sword until the bitter end, huh? I wonder what he would have done if I'd turned him down. Well, I guess... he probably would have been disappointed that you couldn't help him. But I can't help everyone! It's like I'm doomed to fail them. Sometimes I think Volron was right. This is my only choice. Drop everything every time someone needs help? Is that even me anymore? I talk to Nazimir like I'm some sort of role model. But look at me. What future? Alfin. I knew it would be like this if I came to the city. Why did I agree to come? Alfin, why did you save me? Was it just because you were a hero? No, no, of course not. That, that's not it. I, I just... You chose to fight because you had a reason, right? Regardless of what that reason may have been. Don't forget that you have friends. That there are people who can help guide you. That's part of the reason why I wanted you to come here with me. It's because I wanted to help remind you of that fact. Oh. From what I remember, there should be someone in this city who can help you in ways that the rest of us can't. The Crimson Crows? No, not them. Doc. Right. Doc. Oh, yeah. Doc's living in Olzebek now. We took care of the Zoogles around the Fagin Ruins. You did? Thank you for your help. Now I can safely gather more rain clothes. Uh, my, so, my have asked something. What? What is it? I've been thinking about what you meant about not being able to place it there anymore. Were you talking about leaving food from the ruins by any chance? Oh, I see. He must have been secretly trying to help the rain and survive. What? How'd you... There were scraps left by Zoogles in front of the ruins. It wasn't, like, feet or anything. It was obviously human food. Well, so there's gotta be some reason Zoogles keep gathering there, right? What? Makes sense. That's uncharacteristically clever for you, Law. Hey. hey, it's not uncharacteristic. You're right, though. I was leaving food there for rains who live in the lower areas. Lower areas? What do you mean? Mm. Some rains from Vincent went to check on the people living in the ruins a while ago. According to them, the rains living in the ruins have a social hierarchy that determines where people can live. The higher-ranking rains live in the upper area with less damage, while the lower classes live in the more ragged section below. <sighs> Even those with power control, uh, those with po power control, those without power. Even after dawn liberation, the rains have recreated the same system amongst themselves. Yep, I didn't know about it, so I was surprised, and it really got stuck in my mind. So I started leaving food there sometimes, and returned for my clothes, I guess. I see where you're going at now, but I think having more open dialogue would be safer so the Zoogles don't just eat all the food. Hmm, pretty strange, isn't it? Feeling sorry for the people who cause us so much suffering. No, it's not. It's not strange at all. I think we need more people like you and Caliglia in the future. People who extend the help to someone in trouble, no matter where they're dying or rain in. Hmm, I sure hope people will do that. Thank you. Law. You really helped out a lot this time, Law. <laughs> this time, don't you mean as always? Heh. <laughs> the walls have been torn down and the worlds have become one? But people still divide themselves. Some do. 
but not everyone. Take that Taylor, for instance. You're right. As long as there are those who try to join hands together, we can move forward, even if only one step at a time. With the Zoogles gone and bring through the rains in the ruins again, this time we'll be sure to wrap it securely. Done, Rain. I hope the days of anyone facing oppression are over soon. You guys gotta set up a tr uh, some kind of trading system, but it's gonna be tough. You're looking good, Doc. Hmm. You aren't looking too good yourself, though. I've been wondering when you'd show up. <sighs> so, what is it? I don't know what you're struggling with, but just spit it out. That's the reason you've come here, isn't it? I can't keep any secrets from you, can I? So, the truth is... I see. So everyone comes to you asking for your help. I don't mind being relied on. I mean, I'm happy to help. It's just that... They take it for granted because you're a hero. That must be tough. I don't blame you. I just don't understand. Renans hate me without question, while Danans call me a hero. Who in the world am I? <sighs> we spend such a long time as slaves. In some ways, I suppose we're still trying to get free. <sighs> Listen, Alfin. How many hands do you have? Hands? Well, I have two. And how many things can you hold at once with those two hands? Ah. You think the blazing sword can hold hundreds or thousands of things at once just because he's a hero? Nonsense. Well... All they see is the legend. They can't tell the difference between Elf and the person and Elf and the blazing sword. That's your real problem, isn't it? So you need to tell them. Remind them that you only have two hands. Are you saying I should abandon people even when they're asking for my help? Not at all. You want to help everyone. That's a great mindset, and there's nothing wrong with it. However, in order for you to meet everyone's needs, you would have to grow a thousand hands. No? Even a thousand wouldn't be enough. You'd still miss something. And the people would still complain. All you can do is choose what's important to you. What will you do with just those two hands of yours? You are the one who decides, Alfin. Not the people. Not the blazing sword. But you. I decide. I decide for myself. I do. You're not going to ask anything? You're the one who should be giving me an answer, however. Looks like you've realized something. Yes. But I still haven't quite made sense of it for myself. And let's rest for now. You can think about it overnight. No rush. Mosgul is being used as housing for Renans, so we can't go in. The Renans there must be living pretty rough. They say it's temporary until they can relocate to Pelagian, at the very least. I hear it's been improved quite a bit since Doc and I lived there. Oh, Blazing Sword and his crew, you're not just passing by without staying here, are you? Rest. Good morning. <laughs> So do you figure things out? Hmm. I think so. I want to speak to everyone. Everyone? The Crimson Crows and the people who live here. I want to tell them too. Actually, they're the main ones I want to tell, in my own words. If that's your answer, then there's nothing for me to say. Let's ask Snape to gather everyone for us. Best of luck, Alfin. What's going on? I don't know, but it's got to be something big. That's the blazing sword, you know. Everyone, listen. 
I once fought with my friends against the Renan Lords. I did so because I thought it was the way to save everyone. I always thought that I had an obligation to fight, to help those unable to fend for themselves. But I realized I was wrong. I can certainly fight to some extent, but I'm still just a human. I'm not a god or a hero. What are you saying? No way! You mean you're not going to help us anymore? That's not what I'm saying. I want to do all I can. But not because I'm some hero. Not because anyone told me to. I want to do it because I choose to. Even so, there's a limit to what I can do. And that's why... You're saying you'll be a hero who helps when you're truly needed. Nath. When Zephyr died, we foisted that responsibility entirely on you, rather than sharing the burden. Eventually, you'll be gone, just like Zephyr. Everyone dies in the end, whether they are a hero or not. We need to learn to fend for ourselves and not rely entirely on you, or on any individual for that matter. Am I right? Right, exactly. I believe that is the path to real, lasting freedom for all of us. But each and every one of you will need to work together. I'm asking for your help. You heard him. The time for depending completely on others is over. From here on out, we have to find ways to do whatever we can on our own. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll be fine. Go ahead and leave the rest to us. You focus on yourself. I'm sorry for burdening you with so much up until now. <sighs> Thanks. Feeling better? Yeah. I guess, in the end, it seems I was bound by the word hero myself. You freaked me out when you suddenly decided to talk to everyone on your own like that. Those who depend entirely on others cannot truly call themselves free. A good lesson that we all should keep in mind. The people here will eventually understand. I really believe that. If everyone can learn to truly think and decide for themselves, I think they'll start seeing a lot of things differently. And hopefully, one day, they'll realize that the differences between Danins and Renans don't matter at all. So then, now that you've decided to follow your heart, what do you want to do next, Alfin? I want to find Nazimil. I'm not sure what she's going through, but I can't help but feel like she needs us. But first, I want to go to Niez. Niez? I want to speak to the people in different cities like I did in Olzebek. I'll start with Niez. I'll start sowing the seeds in every town, so that maybe, one day... That's quite an undertaking. Difficult for a hero, let alone one man. Well, I guess we'll just have to lend him a hand then, won't we? Niez it is then. Unlike Ulzebek, both Danins and Renans live in Niez. How do you plan to start? Good question. Do you think we should talk to people separately or together? Separately would raise questions. I believe at the same time is better. How many new dialogues are there? What? This is insane. I can't believe the entire town got new dialogue. We can no longer rely on the Blazing Sword. What do we do? It's not like he said he's never going to help us anymore. Besides, we've been fighting the Free Claglia too. I'm sure we can handle it. Well, perhaps I can't fight those Zugals, so perhaps I can help out in the fields. I don't understand what the Blazing Sword and the Crimson Cross want from us. What do we stop talking about? 
He said he's not abandoning us. We should just do what we can. But a second ago, a boy asked me where he might find nutritious fruit. Don't tell me he went alone to Iglia Waste. Wait, what? Do I is there a quest there? Oh no. That could be dangerous and it's probably related to one of the other quests around here. You can't keep relying on others for everything. You have to do your own thing. Yes, but take it easy. Let's see what we can do. Just watch me. I'm ready for this. Normal citizens have offered to help since then. Thanks to you, we may be able to catch up on housing construction. Your speech is awesome. <sighs> oh, where could that boy have gone? Hey. What's wrong? Are you searching for someone? Alfin, yes, I'm looking for my son. He went to, uh, out to get some fruit, but he hasn't come back. So you came up here to search for uh, uh, so search for, for, from a higher vantage point. It shouldn't take that long to pop over to the shop for some fruit, right? I didn't give him any money, so I think he must have gone inside of town to pick it by himself. Hmm. Is there anywhere nearby where fruit grows? It doesn't seem like there would be. Should be told, I spilled all a few days back, and my son said he'd get some fruit to help me recover. Sounds like a kind boy. He always has been, but he's been so active ever since we were free from slavery. Hmm. He says he wants to do anything he can to help ours, and I love to support him, but he worries me so. I see, now he's freed, he has things he wants to do. Alfin. We should find him quickly. If he runs into any Zoogles, he'll be in danger. Right. I agree, the road to Mosgul is closed, so let's start, start a search in the Iglia Waste. My son's name is Delio. Please find him for me. Character quest. Indicated by the f icons of their faces. It'll, it'll enhance their boost attack. What? And each person gets two. Huh. So we do get a little bit of an upgrade from the main story. I hope that kid hasn't gone too far. But speaking of doing what you want, Xion, what's something you've always wanted to do? Me? I may have mentioned, but I have some general ideas. Cooking, clothing design, things like that. I haven't decided on a particular thing I want to do yet, though. I see. There's no rush, so give it some thought. Looks like someone needs our help. Good grief, you're such a softy. Fine, let's go ask them what they want. Yep. I wish I could have heard a Blazing Sword speech too. I wonder what he talked about. Let's ask a grown up later. Pretty caring yourself when it comes down to it, Xion. Or maybe Alfin's rubbed off on you. What do you think about what the Blazing Sword was saying? I wonder if there really is anything we can do. I don't know, but like the guy from the Crimson Crows was saying, I guess there are things that aren't going to be like they were before. There's a limit to what the Crimson Crows can do. We need your cooperation to move forward with the reconstruction. I hear what you're saying, but we were mere slaves. What do you expect we can do? You can leave the extermination of Zugol to us, but you guys are a better field work, aren't you? Let's help each other out in any way we can for a quicker and smoother reconstruction. You look cheerful, unlike how you were when you arrived. Good luck. Yay! Kalagli Ho, come on in. Oh, it's you, Alfin. Hey. You're looking well, Cole. Helping out with the shop today? Yeah! You know what? Gladys stones are so popular, we've been swamped. You guys here buy some too? Yes! Absolutely. Not a moment's hesitation. Still, looks like Gladys stones has become a local delicacy. Oh, we're thriving. Thanks to the recipe you gave us. Gordanos drops by from time to time too. Something about making sure we follow the recipe to the letter. That's the first-rate gastronomist for you. He wants to see for himself that his flavor is being reproduced. Well, that's ju just like... Uh, just like that, he'll run off somewhere... Uh, the gastronomy. It calls to me, he says. So, he's the reason people can fry donuts, he says. Nice. How wonderful. That means the tasty donut's always a stone's throw away now. Hmm. I've actually got a bit of a problem, though. We actually have a caravan out going to sell Gladys donuts outside of Calaglia. We also got them to start harvesting wheat all over Calaglia. Hmm? Sounds like also a problem and more of a good thing to me. It would be not for a caravan being attacked by the Zoogles in the Iglia Waste. The caravan happens to toss out, uh, happened to toss some donuts, which caught the Zoogles' attention and got them chowing down. They gave the caravan a chance to slip away. Right, too bad about the lost product, but at least they made it back in one piece. Since then, the caravan's gotten into the habit of tossing donuts if a Zoogle attack looks imminent. Now the have taken a liking to them and attacked the caravan specifically to get the donuts. <laughs> it's bad for a caravan bad for business. They've snatched over a hundred by this point. That can't be. How awful. That's three days worth of full snacks. What? What? Only three days? Elfin. This is a serious problem. We have to do something now. Let's take care of it. Right. Let's take care of those Zoogles. Thanks, Elfin. But be careful. Those Zoogles are dangerous. Donut fueled town revitalization reconstruction. Man. Sacrificing donuts. Unforgivable! Uh, what's up with Xion? Hell hath no fury like a hungry Xion. 
They'll keep on helping us, right? Within reason. I wonder how people in Nies have been doing since we left. People often need some sort of impetus to change their ways. In that sense, I doubt much has changed. Hey, Alfin, something you want to talk to ask about? But uh, Alfin, I was a little taken aback by what you said, but Leif was right. We were less self-reliant than we should have been. If we rely on you for everything, then you'll get overworked. Plus, in the long run, we Crimson Crows will end up getting weaker. Not everyone fully understands what you were trying to say, but it's a necessary change. If anyone gives you any lip about it, you pay them no mind. Leave Calaglia to us. Anything else? Reconstruction. With or without a hero, the Crimson Crows are still short-handed. We need to work on getting more citizens to help us. It's our city, uh, our country. I'll do my best so I can probably say that one day. Hmm. Stone Monument. Best I've heard what yell at us if you heard about what happened. We've always been told not to rely just on one person. We should have known better. I guess it's time to turn over a new leaf. I should offer some flowers to Zephyr in case he's upset. Hmm. You should stop by again. We will welcome you as a friend, not a hero. We have to make Calaglia a better place by ourselves, so I was thinking. What about exporting the fuel we've been forced to mine all these years? Wouldn't that come in handy in cold lands? Yes, with Cislodia. Obviously complaining won't change anything. We have to change our mindsets. We should try to learn the skills of removing the cores ourselves. Relying on someone is another form of slavery. Your speech is moving. Reconstruction cells a long way to go, but now is the time to walk on our own feet. We were suddenly told to do everything ourselves, but honestly I have no idea what to do. I think that's what we're supposed to figure out together, not each of us on our own. The people here look like they can manage by working together. Yeah. Seems like what Alfin said really motivated them. I hope the Renans can join in too someday. I believe that hero was always right and was there to lead everyone. But I guess it wasn't that simple. It sounds difficult, but I think about what I can do. Doesn't matter how small, find whatever you can do and use it to help us all out. We're not heroes, but I'm sure we can do a lot of things if we work together. Well, griping about the people's attitudes, I guess we were doing the same t thing to you. Don't get complicated stuff, but let's do our best, uh, both do our best so we can all be happy. Come to think of it, it's not like Alphen is always going to be here. Yes, and, and yet we somehow believed he would keep helping us. We should be able to do the same without, with or without him. I guess we took too much, uh, on too much of everything. As a result, it ended up keeping the people from becoming independent. Yeah, we should have worked together instead of doing it all for them, if it was a hassle. Wait, you want us to help with our jobs, really? You want to help us with our jobs, really? I don't know if we'll be, I'll be of any use, but I felt like it was about time we stopped taking everything for granted. Your speech, you said you're helping people because you want to, but does that mean you won't help people if you don't want to? Crimson and crows aren't enough, can you reconsider for everyone's sake? I'm not as strong as you, but when push comes to the shove, we'll all work together to protect the city. We'll, we'll no longer rely on you alone. That's the first of the Zoogle f mob that I need, huh? Are they the only one? I'm the one who should... Sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear. Your voice was... Get lost! Oh boy. In a vine, damn it! Oh my goodness, so many different types. Take it! I can carve through armor! We've turned the tables on it! There are still more left! Right! No Do time it. to hold back! Astral energy! Say no more! Got it! Well done! Your mind. Oh my goodness, I see it's a gauntlet. Never mind, I thought I was safe, but I wasn't! Oi! This one keeps Don't you think charging you saved up us. Up enough that's power what this point? Oh my goodness. I was just waiting for the right moment. Stop being shy and just go for it like you always do. Take some time to recover. Thanks. I'll do my best. We're good to go. Azure Storm! Enemies are gone. Oh my goodness. Erg. Hold up. Now you see what I can do. Rising Wyvern! Do it! In an instant! Impact Claw! Now! Here I come! Now! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! There you go, Alvin! It's time to end this battle! I'm ready for the Nice one! Amazing technique! I didn't have the luxury of being able to hold back. Sure didn't. Energy. Say no more. Here, None can. Fury. Strike! I can carve through armor. Rising Fury. Rising Fury. Commander of Heaven. Phoenix Cyclone. Got him finally. Ha ha. 
That should do it for the Zoogles. Let's let Cole know we're done. All right. Now to find that kid. I hope he isn't being eaten by Zoogles. He's down there somewhere. What? Ah, guess I misread the landing. Are you Delio by any chance? Your father is looking for you. Whoa! The Blazing Sword? And I remember you too! You're the one who gave us the elevator key at Glanamede Castle. Yep! You saved my life that day! I made it out safely thanks to you! Glad you're safe. My name is Alfin, and this is Shion. I'm Delio. Nice to meet you. Your father told us what you're doing out here. This is a dangerous place for fruit picking, especially alone. But my father's been tired, and I want to help him feel better. When I was forced to work at Glanamede Castle, I saw so many people work until they dropped. When you came and freed us all, I was so happy. That's when I decided I wanted to help people too. And I thought I could start by helping my dad. But I don't have any weapons. So I thought about what else I could do. Delio. How about this? We'll gather fruit for you. Shion? Oh, really? I haven't found any yet and was starting to worry about what I'd do. Yes, leave it to us. You go back home and wait with your father. Okay, got it. Thanks, Shion. Where could it be, though? I'm sorry I answered without consulting you first. No, it's fine. I felt the same way after all. I just want to show support for that child. Yeah, I know. Welcome back! We got some fruit for you. Here, take it. Are... are you sure? Is it okay to touch you? Yes, I'm all right now. Listen, I'm sorry about what I said back at Glanamede Castle. It's okay. I was a little surprised, but Alfin told me it wasn't my fault, so I didn't let it bother me. Thanks for the fruit. It looks so delicious. I'll share some with my dad right away. Ha <laughs> ha! How wonderful. You've both been such a big help. Our actions had greater benefits than we realized. I'm really glad we were able to free those people from slavery. Xion, what's the matter? That child is just like I was when I was freed from my thorns. Once I no longer had to deal with them, I thought of so many things I wanted to do. Am I selfish? No, not at all. I think it's a good thing. I'm not so sure. But after meeting that boy, I think I want to do more of the things I thought of. Is that right? Well, I'll be here to support you. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. <laughs> that means a lot. Thanks, Elfin. So, have you thought about what you want to do first? A little. I think that coming up with outfits sounds more fun than just reviewing clothing. Oh yeah? I think that's great. Thanks. And a new look for you is at the top of my list, oh. Alfin. <laughs> just don't pick anything too wild, okay? Hey, welcome back, Alfin. Yes. Everything from Cole. From the looks of it, I'd say the hint went well. Right. Yeah, I should be safe for a while. You did it! Thanks, Alfin. Now I can deliver Glady uh, Stonuts to more, more people. And I hope one day I can get these to Moscow, too. Hey, Doc, is Moscow doing okay these days? Yeah, same as always. The rains from Calaglia and some of the old ones, uh, some of the ones from Lenigus have taken up residence. These rains have a deep seated prejudice towards sons and don't seem to want to talk to us. Moscow's not too far, so I can deliver them myself. Still, I, I'll bet, uh, I bet you want the rains in Moscow to eat your donuts, too, Cole. Yeah, I want them to know that Calaglia, no, that Donna has such delicious food. No need to worry. The <laughs> reputation of Donna's as, uh, as delicious as these will make its way to Moscow one day, you'll see. <laughs> hey, really? If you're the one saying so, then it's gotta be true. Okay, I'm definitely gonna deliver some Gladys Donuts to the Rainlands in Moscow someday. Right! I know- uh, we know you can do it, Cole. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, I suppose I can't go resting on my laurels either then.
I hope Cole's dream comes true. I do too. Alfin has By a quest. Way, mm, mm, yes? I don't think we'll have enough donuts for tomorrow. Yay! Clegly uh, Ho. Clegly's donuts are selling great. If this keeps up and more people find out about these donuts, hopefully we can get them to the Rainers and Muscles someday. Yes! Not just Cole, but everyone in town is trying to spread the word about Gladys Donuts. Nerf I'd live to see such a lively scene. You never know what's weighing in life even until the very end. It's a mandatory one. Hey! So often, you, you've decided to live your own life instead of ju just being a hero, right? right. Yeah, that's right. Then you should wear whatever you want regardless of your position, right? I've always been free with what I wear. Why do you bring that up all of a sudden? So you have forgotten about what you said. Certain equipment you wanted to distance yourself from uh, so as to not draw attention. I got it! Oh, that. Remember now? Yeah, now you mentioned it. I left them with Duck, the Sovereign's out equipment and the Maiden's outfit. I thought it was a good idea at the time, too. I didn't want to see myself as a Maiden. But it's not such a big deal to wear them now. We're still us, no matter the clothes we wear. Simply wearing them as a fashion statement, huh? That's true. The history behind them doesn't matter anymore. We can use them when we feel it's necessary. Yes. Agreed. I actually really like that des design of that hairpiece. I wouldn't mind swinging that sword again, either, to be honest. The structure of the blade was very unique and interesting. If I say that, shall we go to Duck's to pick them up, then? Great. Yeah, let's. Start quest even if I'm not a hero. We owe Doc a lot. It's nice having someone you can rely on. Let's collect our things. The Crimson Crows are so cool! I want to join myself someday! Nice! I'm sure you'll make it in. When you do, I'll be right there with you. How mature of you to be thinking about the future already. <laughs> the Crimson Crows isn't just it, though. There are a whole lot of other things I want to do, too. Like what? I want to go out and travel all around the world, like you guys. That's great. Traveling's a blast. <laughs> also, I still want to make something and sell it to people. I haven't forgotten my promise, Xion. I'm looking forward to you making something tasty. Have you ever thought of coming to Vicente to study? It could be an opportunity to learn about both traveling and sales. Studying, huh? Hmm. I've never done anything like that before. It sounds hard, but maybe I'll give it a try. I'll have to be brave to make life better for everyone here. Like when Alfin broke down that wall. That is laudable insight to have at your age. You should know, though, that balancing that with the Crimson Crows will be no easy feat. What if you put together a new group? It could be your very own crew. Traveling the world, doing business... Whoa, that sounds amazing! Okay, and we're gonna be called the Awesome Fearless Dreamers! Ooh, I like it! A name like that just screams courage! Huh. Don't you think it's a bit long? Well, I suppose it gets the idea across. <laughs> Doc! Hmm. Huh, what are you doing here? Did something else happen? Not at all, we just came to pick up what we left with you. Oh, that stuff, huh? Guess that means you, your main's made, uh, all made up then. Yeah, I'm done with the baggage of being a hero. I mean, no matter what I do or wear. Gotcha, from looking in your eyes, I'd wager you're just fine now. All right. Wait right here then. Rummage. Oh, ow. Oh, no, this isn't good. Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. Just took a tumble. Sounded like something flipped over. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, it's just falling down sent my cultivation supplies flying everywhere. Cultivation? I want to raise an herb garden, but some of them require special soil to grow. I dry out some materials to make the soil. That sounds pretty important to you. Can you still use some? No, unfortunately. They're of no use now. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Doc. What are you apologizing for? I'm the one who tripped. That's for the materials. Well, it'll work out. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I got your stuff right here. Safe and sound. Take it with you. No. No, we'll get you more materials before we accept the outfits. We're the reason you're in this mess. Yeah. He's right. Let's get our new materials to replace what you lost. Mm -hmm. That's very kind of you. You sure you don't mind? The stuff comes from Zoogles and this isn't easy to get. Herbs that normally wither away in the ground can grow in soil and choose the powerful Zoogle parts. Oh, hold on. If those are the parts you need, we already have some. Oh, so Zoogles might have some use for agriculture after all, strangely. Deliver. How's this? Yeah. He, uh, he, oh, yeah, we do. Here, Doc, why don't you use these? Yes. With this much, cultivation shouldn't be a problem. Impressive as usual, Alfin. Inconsistently used voices. I hope your herb garden can grow well now. It definitely will, thanks to you. Speaking of which, I'm curious. 
There are Renin machines that treat sickness now. Why focus on growing medicinal herbs? I hear you. And that technology is definitely impressive. But machines break, don't they? You can rely on them sometimes, but not always. That's when herbs come in to save the day. That's true. Healing arts are useful as well, but sometimes you just need medicine. The way I see it, the most important thing is knowledge. Machines break and medicine runs out. But with the right knowledge, you can repair a machine or make more medicine. Knowledge never goes bad. You never cease to amaze, Doc. Always thinking one step ahead. Flattery will get you nowhere, Alfin. My knowledge is still quite limited. I'd like to expand what I know about herbs. It'd help to find a book or meet someone who knows more than I do. Then we'll try to find that for you. Maybe there's a real herb master somewhere out there. I'd really appreciate that. If I were younger, I'd go searching myself. No need for that, Doc. Let us do the footwork. You just wait here. Hmm. Who might be an expert on medicinal herbs? I might know someone who's familiar with books on them. Remember? In the Palace in Vicent. Oh, yeah! Tigrina, the librarian! So, you remember her name, huh? Interesting. Uh, hey, what's with the stink eye? Hey, you're still hanging out at the library, right? Anything interesting happened lately? Anything interesting? Well, I have found plenty of interesting new books to read. Yeah? Like what? Books on horticulture, culinary techniques, things like that. Recently, I've been diving into some new topics. I've gotten to know some of the other people at the library, and they've been recommending all sorts of new books for me to try. So they're... like book buddies, huh? Yeah, exactly! Any book I choose for myself is going to be colored by my own preferences. So it helps to have some outside opinions. I'm broadening my horizons. Yeah, great. Just don't spend too much time reading. It's not healthy. Excuse me? You're the one who brought up the library. You just wanted to say that? No, just... never mind. Oh. Could it maybe be that you're lonely? Huh? As if! There's nothing wrong with that. I feel lonely sometimes too, being away from you guys. I think it's normal for friends to miss each other. But no matter how much I wonder what you're all doing out there, it's not like I can just pop over and see you. Yeah, kinda hard to do that when we live in different realms. But still, it's nice that we get to hang out from time to time. Like now. Even if it is, you know, in the name of necessity. I'm always looking forward to seeing you all again. And that helps give me strength when I'm alone. I've been looking forward to seeing you all again, too. I didn't realize we both felt the same way. All right, I'm gonna work my butt off when I get back to the Crimson Crows. I've gotta be able to keep up with you, after all. Just don't go overboard and get yourself injured. It'll be fine. I'm far too tough to get injured that easily. See? It's exactly that kind of attitude that I'm worried about. Ugh. Look, the elfires on this book are so soft. Come on, touch it. Hey, I'm so happy that there's a book I, I can enjoy with my friends. Hey. It's a greener, right? Can we talk for a minute? <laughs> What's this? Me and you? Is this your way of asking me out on a date? What? No, no, that's not what I meant at all. We're just here for books. Do you have any about medicinal herbs? How's this? Of course. What kind of medicinal herbs? Aphrodisiacs, perhaps? Uh, no, there's someone also back trying to cultivate herbs to help our people. <laughs> Oh, we're a wonderful person. In that case, I think this book of medicinal herbs would be helpful. Huh? That sure was fast. I'm a librarian. I know every book here by heart. Now, this one's written by an author who wanted to help people heal. I bet just reading it could clear your skin right up. Oh, that's great. A book with that much passion to help Doc. Can you tell this amazing Doc something for me? If he ever has any questions, come talk to me. Maybe someday I'll even visit him when I'm in Ulzebek. Got it. Right, we'll tell him. Thanks. We've got the book. Let's take it back to Doc. She really is an amazing librarian. A bit unique, though. I think people like Doc who seek knowledge are inspiring. I've got to do my best to help people like him. Let me know if you ever need anything, too. No one's in sight. Oh, what have we done? Well... 
What's the matter? It looks like you keep checking the books on that shelf over and over. Well, I'm sorry, there's just a specific book I'm looking for. Hmm. And you're having trouble finding it. Yes, I'm afraid I might have mistakenly thrown it out. I searched high and low, but still can't find it, which means... It must mean, I'm so sorry. No, no need to apologize. Everyone makes mistakes, however big or small. What kind of book is it anyways? If I recall, it was called Where Do Relics Come From? Well, that sounds interesting. I'd love to read it, but it might get lost. It might be lost, right? So the fact you continue search, searching for it must mean you have no memory of disposing it, yes? That's right. I must have lost it while I was organizing. Ah. It may have been mixed in with a pile of books the street vendor purchased from me. But I can't leave my post to chase down the vendor. How about it? In that case, I can go ask for you. Really? You do that? Yeah, but I'm interested in the book myself, and I owe a lot to this library. Oh, Halim? You'll help out too, won't you? Offer. Mm. Sure, I may be able to learn something from the book myself. Thank you so much. I'll, I can tell you exactly where the vendor is. Start quest. Pursuit of the traveling book. Hmm. Where do relics come from? Well, that's an interesting title. I wonder what it has to say. An intriguing question indeed. Where do relics come from, and where do they go? I'd love to learn our predecessors' views on the subject. Uh, but objects don't move on their own, you know. That's not what the title means! Hurry it up, Alfin! Hey, you too, Lord Man! Haste makes waste, young one. Oh, don't even start with me on that! Come on, we're keeping everyone waiting! He's right. Shion and Rinwell must be getting impatient with us, too. I don't believe that's the case. Look, they seem to be enjoying themselves. It feels so comforting to just sit quietly side by side, next to each other. And being able to follow through with something you've set your mind to like that. It's dependable, you know? Wow, you really have a soft spot for that sort of thing, don't you? Mm hmm? Are they talking about... Yeesh! Kinda awkward if we butted in now, right, Alfin? Not at all. We should say something. No, no. It would be rude of us to interrupt. Let us assess the situation and choose the time to make our entrance with propriety. You mean eavesdrop. Personally, I really like those light, nimble movements. There's a graceful fluidity to them. And the strike that comes afterwards, it's always so cool, no matter which way you look at it. Strike? Hold up! For me, it's the poise I'm fond of. That dignified demeanor never seems to falter, all while staying alert and being receptive to even the most subtle shift in sounds. Hmm, sounds. I know, and those big, beautiful, thoughtful eyes. I keep finding myself inadvertently gazing into them. Big, beautiful, and thoughtful? She's right. Elfin does have beautiful eyes. But if anyone has thoughtful eyes, it's Dohalim. But surely big eyes refers to law? I can't wait to see Zare again. The cat! When I see you speaking with other Renans, they always look so happy. It's made me realize just how many people depend on you, Dohalim. I'm glad to be able to help, but I do feel it goes a bit too far sometimes. You can say that again. Apparently there are even some who want you to be the new ruler of the Renan people. I suspect their minds are still trapped in the Renan mentality that the strong have an inherent right to rule and should be followed. Unfortunately for them, the reign they envisioned was but a fantasy, even in the old days. Going forward, they will need to face reality. Yeah, reality with no more lords or sovereigns. Though there are still those enthralled by my title of former lord. I hope to see the day when they too can stand on their own two legs. That said, I don't think people place their faith in you just because you were once a lord. I kept it from you so as not to burden you further, but there have been quite a few requests for you in Vicent as well. Is that so? For what, pray tell? Some want you to pass on your extensive knowledge by becoming a school teacher. Others say they want you to help them learn to appreciate music. And, as a request for the elegant and handsome Dohalim, there were even some who wished to be your lover. Well, that's a scary voice. Sounds less like people want things from him, and more like they just want him. I wish people talked about me like that! There he goes, talking like an idiot again. 
When it comes to children, they all want you to be their father. Sing them songs, read them stories, that sort of thing. It's actually rather sweet. <laughs> I see. Not all things people desire of me are quite so vapid, I suppose. Yes. As a side note, I should mention that most of these requests happen to come from women. It must be wonderful to be so popular, hmm? Kisara, why are you staring at me with a gaze like the coldest winter? <laughs> in the end, it sounds like wherever Dohalin goes, he leaves a string of hearts in his wake. I certainly do no such thing. Do I have to beat up another dude in the arena? I'm begging you, please find my sister. Calm down, we're going- to, we're doing everything in our power to find her. Seems pretty intense. What happened here? Captain, perfect timing. This boy's sister went missing. We've been searching for her, but no luck yet. That's no good. That's not good. Tell me all the details. Was there someone with her when she vanished? Just me. Our parents aren't, aren't with us anymore. I see. I'm sorry to hear it. That's why my sister's the only fa family I've got. If anything happened to her, I... <sighs> you can leave it to me. I'll find her one way or another. Your assistance is reassuring, Captain Kisara. You're lucky sorry to keep talking about. I've heard your name before. We just moved to business, but people say you're someone who can be counted on. Any idea where she might have gone? She went running all out of the house all of a sudden. I have no clue. She just went running off. Why? Or, uh, well? Right. You don't want to talk about it, knowing to force it. Anyway, let's ask around town. Thank you. Please find her. So many. You're really someone the people can count on. You never fail to amaze me, Isara. We're not done yet. Isint is currently without Dohalim. Or my brother. I've got to handle things for now. Speaking of your brother, those siblings reminded me of you and Miguel. I can see why. When I was a child, I caused him my fair share of trouble. We must find the girl and return smiles to both of their faces. We found a book for you, Doc. Apparently, it's full of details about medicinal herbs. Oh, amazing. All these illustrations are a big help. I'll be able to grow so much more with this. Great to hear. That makes all the searching worthwhile. The owner said if there's anything you need to know, just contact the palace in Vicent and she'll respond. How considerate. You really went out of your way for me on this one, huh? <laughs> I feel busier now than when everyone called you a hero, Alfin. <laughs> you may be right. But now Doc's Herb Garden will succeed. And a lot of people will get help. I can't disagree with that. As I'm sure you already know, that's just how he is. You can give up on ever trying to change him. Oh, I gave up long ago. It's part of what makes him Alfin. You guys are gonna make me blush. Uh, enough of this. Let's get what we came for and get going. Sure, here you go. Feel free to come back anytime. So they'll are flawless. Gum are flawless. Bright Angelica. Laze Fiaquis. I hope it's better than my current stuff. I must say, I'm impressed with the old man's keen insight. I know, right? I've always known him as a dependable person, but Doc still surprises me every time I see him. He's always looking at the big picture, and how his actions can help others. I think it's really admirable. I agree. But, you know, those same things apply to you, Alfin. You should be proud of yourself as well. Thanks, Shion. If Doc ever does end up meeting the librarian, though, he might be in for a bit of a surprise. That's for sure. She certainly is somewhat... unique. Who knows? They might end up getting along. Hmm... They do seem to share a similar passion for knowledge. Perhaps they could spend some meaningful time with one another. Anyway, I'm glad the Sovereign and Maiden outfits are back in our hands. Me too. Now we can wear them whenever we want. Yeah! You should wear them every day to make all the trouble we went through worthwhile. The whole point of owning clothes you like is having the freedom to wear what you want when you want to. It's no fun if you feel obligated to wear something. That's right. You shouldn't need a reason to dress up. You should just dress for yourself, because it's something you want to do. I'm surprised. It's rare for us to have the same opinions on clothing. 
Maybe you're finally starting to understand fashion. Well, I did have a good teacher. My, my. You two have gotten close. Looking back on our travels, Alfin, it occurs to me that you volunteered to help countless people by performing relatively menial tasks. Maybe instead of a hero, they should call you a handyman. Oh, that title probably suits me better than Sovereign or Blazing Sword. Alfin, the handyman. Nah, sorry. That's lame. That's just the kind of guy Alfin is. You may as well give up. I'm sure you already noticed, so... Hmm... Are these weapons any good compared to what I have now? No, they aren't. Dude, what? they're so weak. They're only good for being weapon skins or something. Man. Oh, well. That was a letdown. I forgot how weak those pieces of equipment were. Obviously, something you get for the story is not going to be that strong, huh? Where do relics come from? I if I remember correctly, a Cislodian pillar came to buy it. Really? When was this? Let's see, it was some time ago. The book may be up for sale in the Cislodian bookshop, so you may want to go check there. What? What? It's gone the way of Cislodia, so, but it might be a priceless tome. The further away it is, the more it makes me want to read it. Okay, that solves it. I'm going to Cislodia. I suppose that solves it. Can you tell us more about the peddler? I hear he's opened up shop in the Cislodian Central Plaza, near the prison tower that they have not renamed yet. My thanks. Yeah, my thanks for the information. We shall go see for ourselves. How hard is it to just rename a map in this game anyways? That Shuka Astronomy guy Met said he's traveling around the world. Maybe I can see him again sometime. Someday we want to be able to connect with people all around the world just like he does. Well, you're Kisara from the Service Corps. Hmm. We're searching for someone. Have you seen a Don girl around here? A Don child. I think I know who you're talking about. Huh? You do? Yes, I saw her walk by alone some time ago. I remember thinking something was off. Do you notice anything else about her? Hmm. Looks like she was trying not to cry, like she'd gotten in a fight with someone, maybe. Don't tell me she's trying to visit the Raynans. Yeah. That could be why she went running off. I sure hope she's okay. I was worried she'd call out to her, but she didn't respond. She just kept going. Do you remember which way she went? She seemed to be heading for Trislita Highway. I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine if we also have the service corps helping out. Yeah? Also, what do you mean? We've actually been searching for her ourselves. We got so worried that we decided to ask around. But friends and Donna's joined right away. I'm just waiting here in case she comes back. Oh, I see. The citizens were already in action before a service corps got here. Thank you. We appreciate the support both from you and everyone else. You're always the ones protecting us. We want to do something to help for change. The thing is, there are some areas we civilians can't go because of all the ferocious Zoogles roaming around. And we'll focus on checking those areas. Okay. We're counting on you, and we'll keep things up on the run too. Leave it to us. I'm sure we'll find her if we work all work together. Do you think the missing girl was fighting with her brother? It's what siblings do. My brother and I were also separated for a time, though that was less of a fight and more me rejecting him. Isara. Don't worry. We'll find that girl, no matter what. Yes. Let's. It's gonna be another gauntlet, isn't it? What's that? That group of Zoogles, they seem agitated somehow. Those must be the ferocious Zoogles the elderly man mentioned. They look like they found a prey. Those homies lost child. All right, wait, we must take care of them for the safety of the city. Here we go! I've got to protect the people of this Follow me. Retreat, Retreat if you know... What's me. good for you? Oh, Damn it! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die.
Imbue this vanquished soul with life! From beyond! Imbue this vanquished soul with life! Resuscitation! Far beyond the dark! God damn. It really is a gauntlet. I don't remember being th this being th or miss many of you guys. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! There you go, Alvin! Morse, it's, it's time to end this battle! I'm right Rise beside you! Armor. Anything in armor is all mine! You'll find no mercy! As your score! You are in tip-top shape! As soon as I'm done here, come help out! How could a girl ever say no? These little ones are hardly worth our time! Less talking, more pummeling! Cut them apart to your heart's yeah. content! You're finished! Fucking damn. These guys are leveled up compared to default as well. How are your weapons holding up? Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclops! Oh, finally got him. We're good to go. The girl's nowhere in sight. If the Zoogles were gathered here, maybe she's nearby. Let's keep searching. Over there. Is that? I was so scared. So you were hiding in the bushes. I'm glad we found you. You were surrounded by Zoogles. Did you get hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks to you. That's good. But what were you doing out here all by yourself? I just wanted to repair my bracelet. I'm sorry. Your bracelet? You mean that one woven from grass? It does look tattered. My mom wove this for me a long time ago. And this is where my dad gathered the grass for it. So it's a keepsake from your parents. But my brother accidentally stepped on it. Even though it's so important to me. That explains why you were fighting. I just wanted to fix it, so I came here to gather more grass to weave it back together. And did you find any? Yeah, but I don't know how to weave. If Mom were here, she could show me. Here, let me see that bracelet. And the grass, too. Huh? Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. I was worried sick this whole time. I'm sorry. I just wanted to fix my bracelet. No, it's my fault. I know how important that bracelet is to you. I should have been more careful. Uh, you won't believe this, but this nice lady wove it back together for me. Huh? I did. My older brother taught me to weave. So not only did you find my sister, but you went out of your way to fix her bracelet too? Thank you so much. I sure am glad you're here in Menencia. You're our savior. I've done nothing special. Plenty of people in Menencia joined together to help. People in town were worried about you and helped with the search. Both Danans and Renans alike. Vicent is amazing. I'm so glad we moved here. In any other city, my sister might have been lost forever. I can't thank you enough. You two should both treasure each other. You're the only family you've got, and that's something special. That's for sure. Thanks, miss. Kisara. No, please don't say anything. Not now, Dohalim. I simply do all in my power for the people of this realm. The realm my brother loved. I see. This realm has a bright future ahead of it. It certainly does. Wow, Kisara. I'm amazed you know how to weave grass like that. You said you learned it from Miguel, right? It sounds like he really did teach you everything. Yes. Just like that girl's mother. He used to weave grass into bracelets and necklaces for me back when we were kids. 
Kisara? Sorry, it's just... It occurred to me that something he taught me to make me smile is now bringing a smile to someone else's face. I... I know... that I could never be as great as my brother. You were the one who decided to fix the bracelet and find the girl. Dohalim. Migal's dream is still alive thanks to you. You're right. Thanks to meeting all of you, I can say my dreams are no longer just dreams. Exactly. I couldn't even hope to count all the times I've been saved by your shield. Yeah, Kisara. I can even do some housework now because you taught me. You've always been a really good listener when I've got something on my mind. And that one time I stained my clothes during a meal? I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there to help. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It sounds like I've been helping all of you more than I realized. The ideals imparted to us can still be made a reality, but only by those who are alive now, in the present. I chose that path. There's still a long way to go, but for some reason, I feel radiant right now. Oh? How very curious. Walking next to you, I feel the same way. Well... Do you have a book called Where Do Relics Come From? I heard you purchased it in Vicent. Hmm. My, you've come quite a ways. I'm sorry to say I sold that book to a traveling vendor from Calaglia. Huh? What, Calaglia? That book's a season a, a, a traveler as herself. <laughs> Uh, aren't you a funny one? I've never heard of anyone talk about an object like it's a traveler before, like an octopath traveler. Is that so? Things get passed from person to person and get taken to all kinds of places. Over tens, maybe even hundreds of years. Things we have now are valuables, may someday. Good. Where do relics come from and where do they go? Yeah. I think I get it. You sure uh, seem sad in reading that book. You ought to visit Ulzebek. That's where the vendor was headed. Agreed. Understood. To Ulzebek we go. I remember that book. When I was passing through Rudhir Forest, I was attacked by Zoogles and dropped the dar darn thing. Huh? What? That's j the way we just came. Can you tell us where exactly you dropped it? If there are still Zoogles there, we can take care of them as we search. You seriously gonna look for it? Guess I can't go myself as long as there are Zoogles. Alright then, if you find a book, it's yours. You seem pretty fired up about it, after all. Thanks. Probably another gauntlet. Really? Thank you. We'll go search right away. Wolves. It's gonna be a gauntlet for sure, dude. Look! It's gotta be that book over there! But it doesn't look like those Zoogles are going anywhere anytime soon. We can't let the book get damaged. We have to get it back quickly! Right! Yep, fuck it. Can't get out of this! Shattering the... Pieces! Black City of Darkness! You have no way! Great! Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Oh my goodness. I have no limit. Bring you down. Rising wyvern. Holy not done. Storm. Not yet. No escape. A wailing Strike. Down on the ground. Fire Hear me. Rising wyvern. Rising phoenix. What? That was shorter than I thought. Oh, thank goodness. It's a little dirty, but it looks mostly unharmed. As this book's knowledge is imparted to those who possess it, it may become a relic itself someday. That's true. I feel like I found the answer to the book's question before I even read it. Relics sure are fascinating, aren't they, Dohalim? Indeed. They're stimulating and teach us countless new things. But we ought to return this one to its rightful place. Let's go back to Vicent, shall we? Books are easily damaged, so we've got to handle it with care. You're the temperamental one here. You be careful. Oh, shut up! Thunderblade! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! That's it! That's the book! Thank you so much. It took us on quite the journey, but I think we were able to grow as a result. Oh, right. That book was dropped before we found it. But it isn't seriously damaged, is it? 
It looks to be fine. No pages are missing from what I can tell. The cover's a little scuffed up, but I can take care of that no problem. Oh, good! Then this valuable text is back where it belongs. Yeah, it's a relief the book made its way back. But more importantly, since you're the one who said you really wanted to read the book, nothing would make me happier than you giving it a read. Well, like Dohalim said, it's already taught us the importance and appeal of relics. Really, I should be the one thanking you. But I'll definitely read it after you've finished restoring it. Yes, I'll let you know once it's ready. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I wonder when I'll be able to read that book. I can hardly wait to crack it open. Once we've both finished it, we should share our thoughts on what it has to say. Maybe I'll give it a read too. Why bother? I'm sure you'll fall asleep after a few pages. The hell I will! Just you watch. I'll show you I can do something if I set my mind to it! Repairs are coming along nicely. You can pick up the book once they're all done. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try the game for yourself.